Hello guys, welcome to today's vlog. I decided that I was going to try to redo this bins. I uh, made this video once before on my vlog channel and you couldn't hear anything. So I just thought I would show you guys around our house a little bit. This is the Honda Accord that I have gave my son. That's my husband's Thunderbird. Horseshoe pits are down there. As well as a fire pit that my husband and son built. And um, old swing. It's a Ford swing. Now we got to get all this cleaned back up. But yeah. Wow. In the springtime, when my flowers are blooming, I will post another video. Of course, you'll probably see several videos here. And yes, I do still use a clothesline. And this is our other little sitting area that we had cleared out. It has flowers planted curious to see how they do this coming spring and this is our little water filled fire pit <laughs> and we have a grill somewhere I don't even know and there's flowers planted at the end of the trailer there these are all my creek myrtles There was flowers planted around that stump that my husband made me. It's kind of a neat little get up. And all on the side of the trailer and that's one of my dogwoods that my oldest son bought me. And I have elephant ears. But as you see it's that time of year. Roses and stuff. This is more impressive, way more impressive in the spring. And this is my cross. It's kind of a little memorial for my mom and dad in a rose bush. And down below the driveway down there is where we were planting our garden. There's the pond. And the Rivers residence that is in the process of being remodeled so it can be rented out. Conrad Rivers lived there. He passed away. And this is a gum tree. We are going to probably do away with it. That's a crepe myrtle. And there's crepe myrtles along the fence line. And that's Miss Gladys' house over there. Um, if I knew my battery would last, I'd walk up to Mount Croggan Park and let you guys see the park. That may just be on a different video from my other channel or something. Maybe on this one, I don't know. But anyway kind of looks dreary out here around here right now it being winter time and all I told you guys that I would try to keep my promise for my Sunday vlogs so that's what I'm trying to do so it may not be too interesting but at least I'm doing it our 
now we're gonna make me a pot of coffee. And I guess I'm watching Urban Ghost, Urban Exploration. Sorry if you guys need to give me that good right now. I'm making coffee. I'm using my Kodak today to make this vlog. I'm doing a test run. I was pretty sure that it recorded video and it definitely does and if it does good then I'm not going to be in any big hurry to order or buy another camera because I have my tablet, my cell phone, this camera. I am going to be purchasing a light and possibly a mic to hook up to my camera so that you guys can hear me better. This is my second attempt at this video. The first one you can hardly hear so I'm hoping the volume is up on the phone better now and if not maybe I can adjust it as I'm editing it. I am doing laundry today. And making beanies. I'm making it's just like a toboggan. I've made four for my sister. One of them has a matching scarf. I made one for my Aunt Patricia, one for my cousin Kay. And I'm now working on one for my niece Kelly. I have bought them Christmas too, so needless to say. I have uh, my son and I went and uh, did a exploration video. It wasn't the greatest in the world. His was like really dark. I edited it and uploaded it yesterday for him. You go over to Half Pints TV and look at it. Um, need better lighting. That's a definitely. And he needs to learn to control a little better. Uh, I got him a shoe for Christmas to put his camera on. I also got him a camera for Christmas. Got my husband one for Christmas. Um, and I have a shoe. Uh, we just got to get lights on them. He was look, using a little flashlight and it was really not illuminating very well. The light that I was using was better, but both of us need to get better at videoing. <laughs> I guess that kind of a practice. Uh, the program that I used to video his, I mean, edit his video was pretty cool though. I liked the way I edited it and it had his quality of his video been better it would have been a pretty awesome video and I mean it was pretty good for what it was but uh, we have decided that we are going to do a 30 minute alone challenge at night in that trailer uh, it is a drug dealer's place he is in federal prison for drugs murder and other things uh, there's a stripper pole in there it's actually two single wide trailers butted up together uh, look like the back side of the the back trailer is a lot nicer than the front one the front one's an older trailer I mean they're both older trailers but the front one's even older than the back one and it's under falling under great disrepair um the ceiling is falling in. It has lots of leaks. People have been in there trashed, stolen. And, you know, I do not understand why people can't go and look at something like that without trashing the place. Why you gotta bust holes in a wall, bust windows out, tear stuff up? I mean, it kind of messes it up for the rest of the explorers when you go in here and vandalize crap. I mean, what do you get out of vandalism makes no sense to me it, it really ticks me off that people do that um, I like to 
go in old places and explore. I like to watch videos where other people do it, which has inspired me to start making videos because I've always kind of explored. I've always loved it since I was a kid. And um, I just think back to a lot of places that I've been in that I could have videoed that would have made some pretty cool videos. Is what it is. I don't know where all of them's at anymore, but uh, I know where there's a few at that I may go back and try to make videos at. Um, I'm probably going to go back and make another better video at the drug dealer's house. I uh, have a few graveyards that I want to make some videos at. And there's one that we're going to do a 30 minute long challenge of course. My husband came up with this one. This 30 minute alone challenge, he says, should be a three hour alone challenge. And, I mean, if it's like dark, you know, it doesn't really have to be at like 3 a.m. Because if a place is haunted, it's haunted. And this graveyard is like really old. It's just got a lot of old graves. There's graves that no longer have them tombstones on them and um, Marie on Marie's Life of Logs she does like a flower project and I think that after the first of the year when I get back to working good I'm going to go buy flowers to put on the graves in that graveyard because it's like nobody has visited those graves in years and I think it would just be something nice to do to, to respect those that are lying there resting in peace I hope they're resting in peace there but yeah um, there's several graveyards that I plan on making videos at uh, my husband and I tried to video an old farmhouse and my video just kind of disappeared so I have to go back and do that um, there's another old like log house close by that me and my son are going to make a video at um, possibly a double wide uh, I know where there's a house and a single wide trailer don't know about the house but I'm pretty sure the single wide trailer is still abandoned uh, so we do be planning on bringing y'all some content my husband and I also found another place it's pretty far from here but we plan on going back and when we do I'm going to make a video there um, it's like everything's left behind everything we just kind of stumbled across it so we're going to have some pretty good content from my other channel and like the park up here it's kind of neat if I make the video you'll see why I think I may do that on this channel because just something different you know but anyway I don't think this video is going to be quite as long as a lot of the other videos have been uh, I need to get some things done but I promised you guys a Sunday vlog every Sunday so I'm trying to keep my promise they may not all be exciting and epic but it is a vlog so you get what you get anyway I think I'm gonna go on ahead peace and let you guys go I want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year I hope you all have a very blessed Sunday be kind to people enjoy the time you spend with your family and loved ones and remember you are in control of your own destiny you're the one that makes your decisions and you're the one that has to live with the decisions that you make god bless you and have a wonderful wonderful evening